Competition gets soft when we breaking them off Tell the fans back off that you want the guitars Tell the chest no rest, tell me next to me John Come test, come test, play a pass me the ball uh, We don't run from the law, it's the law God, we don't run from the law, it's the law God, we don't run from the law, it's the law God, we don't run from the law You're irrelevant, shooter consuming you and your delegates Fellowship, me and my trooper, we keep intelligent Elegant, heavy shit dropping just like an elephant Pelican, assassinate the nation for the hell of it uh, We don't run from the law, it's the law God, we don't run from the law, it's the law But yeah, can we, can we just get the, the Tyson bullshit out of the way, right? The guy's a legend why is it bullshit? He's know, a legend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a legend. Man. He's an absolute legend. Former heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. All right? He's 53, but based on muscle <laughs> memory, he's going to look good if he's in a bit of shape hitting the pads. He's going to look explosive. He's going to look powerful. Power's the last thing to go. But there's hoopla now. So, do you know what? That's actually the last I'm going to say about it. You lot can carry on in it. It's, it's annoying me. I don't, what's, what's, I don't understand what the big issue is with it, to be I honest. I know, yeah. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm the, cool. issue, the issue as, is people as long as he's actually running really, with the narrative that he's, he can all of a sudden compete. No, I don't think anyone, not, yeah, I was going to say, anyone with half a brain ain't going to think he's going to start challenging. Wasn't, wasn't it De La Hoya who said something like if he trained for 12 rounds, he could knock out any of the top 10 heavyweights today or something yeah, like but that? He was high. Mean, <laughs> he was high. He still, still got the blueprint. He still got him. He hasn't released him. <laughs> this is the guy that lost to. This is the guy that lost to Danny Williams twenty years ago. That got Kevin McBride as well. Kevin McBride as well. Like he's not gonna. He's not gonna be the same Mike Tyson. Everyone knows that. I have no issue. Not everyone. I have no issue with him fighting exhibitions and. Oh, I don't. I don't like a a novelty fight. I don't think anyone's expecting him to come in and fight Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Fight your fellow middle ages in an exhibition. What, Holyfield? Holyfield oh, in yeah. an exhibition oh, fight? Yeah. I'd, be, I'd be interested mm-hmm. in That'd Tyson be a fun, versus fun fight. Briggs or Tyson versus um, Holyfield. I, I, don't yeah. think Briggs, I don't think Briggs is too fair because, you know. Well, you, you, it, it appears that way. Briggs is only five years younger than him. Yeah, but yeah. He's, he's been a lot more active. Briggs is 48. And he's on the studs. <laughs> what, what, is he, he's, he's on that juice, you know what I mean? Did, did, did he take some diabetes tablets? <laughs> diabetes tablets, my ass. Or something. <laughs> it's something. There's a reason for it. Um, the reason is he, man, Shannon Briggs, listen, man's fifty or however old he is, and he's hench. You can't tell. Yeah, you, you can't tell me oh, there's what, no juice he, going on. Yeah, there. That's like he's 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 body, there's yeah. some juice on that. He's forty-eight. He might be jealous of his body, isn't it? <laughs> how, how old was Hopkins nah, in, in his last I'm fight? Nice <laughs> Hopkins was about 50, 51. 51, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And Shannon Briggs is a friend of the show, actually. So, yeah. It's, it's Shout cool, out Shannon Briggs. He's cool, man. He's cool. But I, I don't want to fight in Well, well bruv, people are saying Tice can go in there and fight the top 10. So, why not <laughs> fight Briggs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Test <laughs> himself. <laughs> Do you, does does, 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 does anyone give him a chance in, in one round? In one round, if he went in there, does anyone give him a chance to cause any type of upset or would he just get flattened straight away? I think he'd beat the shit out of Joe Joyce. <laughs> 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 All right, Tyson no respect, versus David no Price. Respect. Tyson versus Price. He wins. Ooh, you know what? That's a close one, you know? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. We're talking about a 53-year-old Mike Tyson who's been smoking weed for 20 years. Even, hey. even still. <laughs> even still. Henry is just not entertaining this. Absolutely. No, not at all. Arms folded. <laughs> No, at the end, at the end of the day, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, cool, I'm just cool with Tyson making, his, making some money. You know, be be nostalgic to see him in an exhibition, but anything to do with titles or or top ten or even top twenty, just 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 allow it. Just go and do your exhibition. Let's have some fun and see that, and that's it. End the story. I'm not hating on it. If it's hoopla around it, it just brings more revenue to him. I ain't mad at that. 
I've got a question for everyone. So <sighs> if we have Tice, Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield pay-per-view exhibition fight, would you pay your 1995 to see it? Probably. Yeah, I definitely. Would. Probably. I would. I'm not paying for that. I'm sorry, I'm not paying for that. Well, to be fair, I'll probably stream it for free sometime. Yeah, there we go. There we go. But, there but, but exactly you know, <laughs> but if, you pre- if you press me for it, then, yeah, I wouldn't feel a way about it. There's the, I'd oh, rather I'll pay for that than it. some of the fights that I've seen recently, so... Yeah. yeah, I've definitely been spending twenty pound on rubbish on Amazon recently, so I probably that fight. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> yeah, when you put it like that. Okay, Henry, you you, you can be back on now. <laughs> <laughs> back, Henry. <laughs> cool, cool. Hey, let's jump into these lists. So we um we uh, all came up with our own individual current UK pound for pound top tens. So. Yeah, just going to get straight into it. So we've each compiled our list. Bex, I think you're up first. Just going to air man's out like that. <laughs> <laughs> just put everyone's list on the page. That it goes. That goes. Wow. So yeah, everyone everyone, take a look at each list and just rip into it where you feel appropriate. So yeah, for those listening, it's One. Eubank Jr. at 10, <laughs> Luke Campbell at 9, Dylan White at 8, Carl Frampton at 7. Billy Joe Saunders, six. AJ at five. Josh Taylor, four. Callum Smith, three. Josh Warrington, two. Tyson Fury, number one. I think, my, I think the, the people that are in there are fine. I think Callum Smith, even though he did unify those titles against George Smith, I mean... George, George, George Groves, sorry. <laughs> George Smith. Done, <laughs> that wasn't even unification. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it's just, just that, that, that um, tournament, and it the, top, Ali, Ali yeah, the, the Super Six, even. Um, <coughs> yeah, he took I just think it's a bit too, too high for me. He's definitely in there, but I think he's too high. Yeah, Callum Smith at number Callum three. Smith. That's a bit Not lofty. Sure. Well, you know what? I say, I mean, he's, he's undefeated, and for me, you know, he, he, he looks. He looks He's not fighting. fighting. He's it's he's fighting I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no I'm, one's I'm, fighting right now, yeah? No one's fighting. Nobody's fighting. But um, nah, again, like you know, for, for me, the top, the top, sort of from two to five are kind of interchangeable, depending on how you're feeling. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't disagree about putting him fourth or or maybe even fifth. But for <coughs> me, I'm impressed generally with him, so that's what I'm putting. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad. At, I'm not mad at your top four. I think I've got the same top four. To be fair. Yeah. All right. So yeah, and and, and I'll, I'll just I'll try and fly through these so we don't get to the last one and have nothing to talk about. But yeah, I think there's a pool of about fifteen fighters that everyone's got. Um, so yeah, um, so I think we'll go to Hasib's list next. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, very good, very good. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 man, you finally came round to see. Oh man, <laughs> seen it, I. That's a fact, man. Tell number one. <laughs> yeah. Fucking so, hell, I'm surprised Kel- you Kel- Kel- put Kel- Brooks ahead of Khan. Shit, Brooks going on. Khan actually made the top ten. Fair enough. But Brooks ahead of Khan. What? Yeah. So Hasib, Hasib has got. Yeah, Hasib has got Amir Khan at number ten. Kel Brook at nine. Luke Campbell eight. Billy Joe Saunders seven. Callum Smith at six, Dylan White five, AJ no, Quar- four, Warrington Quarantine three, crazy. Taylor, <laughs> and Fury <laughs> top. So I'll address that. So I, I, I've done it. Ba- I mean, look. Is it based on who you know? Truth be told, nine and ten, I mean, mm. they're just inactive. So I based it purely on activity and Kel's fought more recently. And I think the last guy Amir fought was Billy Dib in Saudi, and that yeah. was like a nothing four rounder. So that exhibition, yeah. I was, mean, yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a madness. Is that I'm even going record? On the list. I'm basing this basically on on activity, and I mean neither of them really, when you look at, when you look at it, should be in in the top ten. But I just think there's no one really I can put in front of them. So. They just take the nine and ten spots. I, I, I bet you're different, mate. I yeah, I just ignored them completely. Like they don't. You know what I mean? 
I mean, it's Eubank, I wanted, to, I wanted to put Eubank in there, but what's he done recently as well? He, um, like... he beat James the Girl, won, won another title when? after that as well. When? Which when? American like... won a fight as well. Yeah, let's let's come back. Know. Let's come back to let's come back to Eubank. I just want to. Dylan White is above a couple of world champions in there. Yeah, I, 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 <clears throat> yeah, he's a bit he's a bit too high for my liking. Mm. I'm so okay, well, let's let's talk about that. So Dylan White in the last three four years <coughs> has fought better opponents and beaten better opponents collectively than both Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders. But he's also lost. To who? There you go. AJ? Yeah, but not in the last three or four years. It don't matter, he got knocked out. Them other man's got knocked out. I'm not going to hold the current UK pound for pound list based on one loss that he had seven years ago. No, when he's I, I, hear, I hear you, but for me, I couldn't, put, I couldn't put him above people who are active champions and undefeated. Yeah, but Billy Joe's had, in the last four years, he's had. You're like, talking he's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think Billy Joe has fought anyone decent in the last four years. He's fought one guy, David Lemieux, and he's pulled out of fight. Like, <laughs> Lemieux. 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 He's pulled out, he's pulled out, four, he's pulled out four fights, and he's not fought anyone. I, I, I cannot justify putting on the He got suspended candy. for one of them, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, I can't. On apparent, can't apparent nasal spray. I, I can't. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you need to pull out. When you need to pull out, you pull out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely cannot. I, if, if you ask me who's achieved more, Callum Smith or Dylan White, I'll say Callum Smith. But I can't ignore what Dylan White's done and who he's fought and beaten in the last four years compared to Callum Smith, who I think's had one, maybe two good wins. So what's yeah. it? So what's Dylan? What's, again, Dylan, okay, what's Dylan White's two two best wins for you then? Two standout wins. <laughs> all of Don't AJ's, worry, I'll uh, wait. <laughs> who's beating all of AJ's um, cast offs? All, all, yeah, all, of AJ, all of AJ's second, uh, second leftovers, right? Yeah. Leftovers, yeah. leftovers. That's the Is Joseph Parker his biggest win? Chisora yeah. was a good, the, the, nah, Chisora nah. Was who's, nah, nah. His, who's his biggest win? I like yeah, Dylan White, I really do, but who's his biggest win? It's got to be Parker, hasn't it? I think. Okay, then. Uh, Parker that, I think Oscar that... Weaver. Parker got off, off, the off the floor. Exactly. But well, I think I think Oscar Weaver. Actually. Oscar Weaver was a Cuban guy, and he beat him. He was a tough guy. It was a tough. It was a tough win. But who's doing white fought in the last three, four years? Everybody Parker who's... Rivas, Chisora twice. That's it. Everybody who's a contender has not fought no one. No, he's, he's got, he, you know, at least he, he, you can, we can all agree and, he deserves his place on the list. And he was scheduled he to fight for Vetkin as well, right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, was, like, for was, me, was, 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 at least he's taking some decent fights. And that's yeah, kind of swinging it for me. Because for I don't me, see... It, hold on, he should have really taken out Ortiz's fight if he could have. Mm. Because he's just he's sweeping up the guys that have already been cracked already by Joshua. You can say the same about Fury, and you can say the same about Joshua. But Ortiz I'll was say the same about Fury. <laughs> nah. About Ortiz. Fury. What about him? What did he avoid Fury? Not that you, as in like Fury could have fought Ortiz. Joshua could have fought Ortiz. <clears throat> but there's some truth to what Eddie Hearn said when it came to Ortiz that the guy is not money. No one's going to pay to see these guys fight Ortiz. And I think there's some truth to that. Yeah, but Lucas Brown isn't money. Rivas isn't money. You can, you can rule the list off with people who ain't going to make money, but they're still being fought on pay-per-view cards. Yeah, risk and reward, I suppose, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, that's my justification for Dylan White being in front of both Smith and Saunders. Cool, we'll go on to... Uh... Simons. So Simon's got Cal your fight, Tim, Luke Campbell, Dylan White, Eubank Jr. makes an, an appearance, Josh Warrington, Billy Joe, Eubank's AJ, high, Cam Smith, Taylor and Fury. I, I, I was debating whether to put Eubank in the list at all, but <laughs> seven. Billy Joe was high too. 
I'm okay with Billy Joe. Okay, Billy say nah, come on, you can't be that. Can't yeah, but the thing is, the thing for me is, yeah, he's not really been threatened. I mean, he had a good fight with Eubank, and kind of Eubank threw that fight himself, but even still. Just just Warrington should be higher. Yeah, I think Warrington should be higher, Billy Joe should be lower. I like the top two. Solid. Luke Campbell. Campbell. Your five breaking into the top ten. Arguable. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm yeah. okay with that. There, there, there's no shame when losing to Roman Gonzalez. There is no shame, but I mean... I just don't like your fight. I don't think he's done much. don't like his style think, either. But, but what about Luke Campbell? What's Luke Campbell? Luke Campbell's, Luke Campbell's fought a good couple mm-hmm. champions. Yeah. And he um, he's he's fallen short, he but, 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 but he's mixed it with every one of them. Mm. I, I actually think you, his performance against uh, Lomachenko was very, very strong. Solid. Strong. Oh, but still Linares done. could have gone either way. Linares so, as well. So. Yeah, very close fight. Mm. Lost these fights, man. You can't put someone in there who's lost fights. Why not? Dude, you, you lot are hype about Sean Porter all the time. He's lost every single fight. Every single fight. Every single fight. He hasn't won a world title. I can't remember the last time Sean Porter won and you lot rave about him like he's the second coming in the 147 division. Do you remember when Brooke beat him? <laughs> yeah. Let's not go there, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there'll be some, uh, some standard references. We'll, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, we go into mine. Uh, what is Why is, mine? AJ, why is mine? AJ at number three? That's Kel Brooklyn. Boy, I just think quality of opponents. <laughs> that's Kel Brooklyn now, for man. You know, that's a fair shot. I think AJ would be number two if he didn't lose to Ruiz, if I'm honest. Yeah, he was, yeah. His, his resume is solid. Yeah, but he lost. And I don't he, deny that. He, fought, he, fought he lost to a fat him. Mexican. He lost right, to a Carl. fat Mexican. <laughs> all right, Carl. All right. Yo, yeah, um, and, and, and Henry, can you come explain why Kel Brooklyn's on this? Because I just believe that when he's on fire... He trains like lightning, like a wild horse. <laughs> like a wild horse. <laughs> and Chocolate brown, eh? Listen, when he's up for it, yeah, I just, I just feel like he hasn't. De- I mean, his his decline is kind of represented, and similar to Frampton, it's kind of represented in a bit of inactivity since their last defeats. Which, in my opinion, neither of those defeats uh, were shameful. Frampton was to Warrington. Brooks was to Spence. Um, granted, Brooks was a while back, but he came back. He looked all right, and I, and he's still a relevant player at one fifty four or one four seven. So, I mean, I wouldn't argue if you want to stick someone else in there, but I don't think Eubank Junior has proven yet that he's better than what Kelbrook had or Frampton. Yeah, but the thing for me, it's it's oh current. Gosh. It's current. Yeah, I hear so. that. I hear that. But again, you, meh, I don't know. I don't know if you. But I mean, it's wow. It's fair. It's fair. David, yeah, you're wowing all over the shop. Look at this guy's <laughs> list. <laughs> this guy's list. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I can't look at this guy's list. list. Look at it. Yeah, look at mine. Has he got Duke McKenzie in there? <laughs> <laughs> you might as well, bro. <laughs> hey, look, I, I, think, I, think, I think my list is, is quite... It's quite all right, to be fair. And just, What's and, Charlie and just, Edwards doing in there? Just to recap, yeah, so they've got six. Eubank Jr. at the 10. Edwards is number Dilla six. Still a white and nine. Charlie Edwards oh, in there. Oh you God. need to explain Charlie Edwards. Please. You need to explain that. As well. Charlie Edwards at six. Explain that, please. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think, I think the guy, the guy, just because he's at a lower weight class, I don't mean, I I don't, no, it's not about that. Why is he number six? He's above Saunders, White, and Eubank Jr. Well, well, well te- technically, you haven't, you haven't lost. He hasn't lost, he hasn't lost yet, and he and he won, he won a couple of world titles as well. What did you see? And, though? and, and his, his, his last, last fight, his, uh, last fight was not a contest. Is this the fight that he was getting absolutely? He got spanked, yeah. He got but spanked. It was a no contest, no contest. Yo, was, I, listen, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. If if the ref gave me that decision, I'd say, you know, you know what? Yeah, just scrap Take it. Take it back. All, yeah, all 100%. No contest, run. I don't, I, I'm not going to accept that shit. No, allow it. Six, nah, nah. and then and then on top of that. On top of that, he didn't even give him the rematch. He moved up a weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got off. He, he shot with the weight. Off. He shot with the weight. He got off. <laughs> Man struggled with the weight. Hey, he struggled with the weight. He struggled with the opponent. That's what happened. His last record was still as well. Listen, he got spanked to move division, 
And you put him at number six. Number oh, six, okay. yeah. That's a disgrace. But, 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 but then the other guy, Kelbrook, got his eyes shot at Mark Price and you put him on the list. Don't deflect. This is your list. You put him <coughs> hey, at no, number six. Hey, no, this is my list. I'm, <laughs> hey, I think my list was all right, bro. I think my list was yeah. right. Char- Look, Charlie yeah, Edwards I can, is a good I can leave him at number 10. I can leave him at number 10, but number six is disrespectful to the whole UK boxing scene. <laughs> Sorry. Charlie, Charlie Edwards is a ah. great young fighter. Um, but yeah, above Saunders, Yafai, White. Nah. Nah. Just under AJ, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stay AJ, humble. AJ, AJ, that's an amazing oh my game, gosh! But, but yeah, so, my, so my, did my Charlie. Top, my top three, my top three, my top four, mainly guys who are obviously unified and I'm, I'm beating everyone. So, quarantine's got Cal, Cal, How's body. Callum Smith forced places above Billy Joe? Callum Smith's done defeat him, and also you want a super six? Saunders uh, undefeated as well. And he's yeah, won a legit world title. Saunders, like you said, he, I, I, he deserves respect to be in there. But like, like uh, Hasib said before, his inactivity puts him back down. <sighs> yeah, the less said about that, the better, I think. Uh... <laughs> hey, I, hey, I'm, hey, I think my <laughs> acceptable, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just, whoa. This guy's I'm rubbing his hands like Birdman. He's happy with his list, mm. yeah? Or <laughs> <laughs> play with my name, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it is what it is. Anyway, so that's those are our lists. Um, so if you're on YouTube, study them, comment, let us know what you think about them. Uh, as I just go back through them, just to remind everyone. Uh, if you're listening, uh, hopefully we broke it down enough for you <laughs> so that you can follow. Um, if you can't see the list, um, and yeah. What, so, what, about, so what about uh, what about Simon's list? Yeah, we we got through Simon's. We, list. we, we covered Simon's. Yeah. That was the first entry uh, of, yeah, of Eubank. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Eubank. Simon's got him at seven. I think that's a bit higher, but what what does what does Eubank need to do, um, or what weight does he need to campaign at to win a world title? He's already won a world title. Though. What? Jump the gut. Lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it, lower it. Is that the IBO? <laughs> the IBO, the IBO. Hey, he won, he won, he won it against Jump the Girl. His last fight. IBF, remember? No, IBO, mate. IBO, IBO. man. Some Mickey Mouse thing. Yeah, 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 yeah IBO. No, didn't he already have that before to go? Yeah, he got it before the girl. Yeah, I thought it was good. Him, him and the girl was just a grudge match. Hold on, that's the one he was going to the club with, innit? That belt. Yeah, yeah. He never took it off. <laughs> <laughs> Then burglars came to his house and left it there as well. Like, no, that was oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't even take the belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what weight should he campaign at? Uh, 160 or 168? Middleweight or super middle? If you I'd look probably at, say 160, you know. 60. That's what I yeah. think as well. I think 168 is a bit of a stretch. Mm. Canelo's hey, still if I, if the I, champ. If I, was him, if I was him, I'd try and take the Triple G fight. It's a good time Ten. for him to do it. Yeah, now's the right time, definitely. Big name, right time, aging fighter. <coughs> uh, that's what I would do if I was him. I'd try and take that Triple G fight now. It'll definitely make and money that's as the well. Same, that's the same for Billy Joe Saunders as well, but I don't think he's got it in him. I yeah, but Billy Joe happy. purposely waited for uh, Triple G to age before even mentioning his name. Yeah. We'll see. Um, but anyway. A, a lot, even a lot with Canelo, of, a lot of I don't think Billy Joe... Even with Canelo, I don't think Billy Joe Saunders wants it. Ah, Canelo would tear his head off. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't question Saunders wanting it. Um, Why? Just, what makes you think that he's done He just can't stop doing stupid things. Yeah, but he's done nothing to even suggest that he's interested in fighting either Triple G or Canelo. He was supposed to have fought Canelo. Supposed to, but last it's week. never materialised. It's never materialised. Yeah, well, obviously because of this whole, this whole COVID thing. But, yeah, but we've been hearing. I, th- I think Canelo. I think that fight would have happened. I don't. I, I, I genuinely don't believe anything when it comes to <laughs> Billy Joe Saunders and to any of fair, fights. To be fair, Canelo side were trying to campaign for the Triple G fight as well. Though you, you saw you saw a lot of that in September, in September, yeah. But nah, I think he, Saunders he he knew that Canelo was the big chance. He he wouldn't have messed that up. I don't think. Well, he kind of did, didn't he? <laughs> uh, but yes yeah, so anyway that, that was a list um, I think yeah some, some of those selections were, were a bit ropey but that's why that's, oh, why, Edwards, got, that's, why, <laughs> that's why we've all got opinions so what we'll do I think we'll, we'll post each of those on Instagram and let people just rip, rip 
each of those ones to pieces. Uh, Sorry, David. Go. You're, you're going to get ripped for that charge. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be fine. No worry about me. <laughs> That's as bad as that June McKenzie entry last week, man. <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong with June McKenzie? You can't have him in the top ten. I'm sorry, you can't have him in the top ten. Why? It's because you don't watch him fight. That's why. <laughs> Dude, the guy lost how many times? And he there were just seven. many seven times. <laughs> there were just Different far time. better boxers out there in, in the last thirty years than June McKenzie. And, time, and the thing though, was, he was I'm like trying, seven yeah. or something. The time, the time, like Henry said, the times are different. Mate, if he got the, if he got the, if he got the, the silver, you know, the bronze spoon, the number 10 or something, then I'd be like, okay, fine. You know, he's got it because he was on ITV for 10 years, but it's not even that. He was like number seven. Bro, bro, you put, you put Americani on this. You can't say nothing, bro. I mean, no, like, Charlie I'm Edwards. I don't know. Easy, Charlie. I'm just trying to put shit on me in that list. Facts. My, my, argument with, my argument with that is if you're going to put Hatton in at five, you have to put Amir in there close because their career is pretty much. Back, back to Amir. Oh, what, and why, why would you do that? Well, the, 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 the weight classes were pretty much the same, the careers went pretty much the same. The, Level of competition was pretty similar as well. The longevity Amir has, better names, numerous names. I think. To I be think, fair, you're not going to campaign for Amir every week, like you know what I mean. I think. I think with Hatton though. Hatton, Hatton, was, Hatton was lineal champion at one point, right? Yeah. One and he fought, yeah, after and, when he beat Costa Zoo, yeah. he was lineal, and he and he fought the best of his era, the two best fighters of the era. Khan, Khan yeah. didn't do either. Khan never got the Mayweather fight. Yeah, all <laughs> <laughs> the Pacquiao. One. And then he lost the. But he did get Canelo. <laughs> well, you you lot are making it sound like um, a, a defeat is a big thing. Just want to clarify, that's not what we're about. We don't believe. No, that no, I don't. I don't think defeat Especially not one loss in the record. I mean, we're yeah. thinking guys who'd had one loss in the record, like. Yeah, and speaking of one loss, here the segue. Speaking of one loss, <laughs> obviously Deontay Wilder lost to Tyson Fury recently, um, and obviously he's he's got contractually um, an obligation to to a third fight. Um, do you think he should is go he ahead with it? Is is he contractually obliged to wear that forty pound transformer? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that uh, that definitely got malfunctioned and and destroyed, boy. After that fight for Black History Month as well, man. Oh, that's a terrible decision. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> oh, Black people <laughs> letting us down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. if, if I was him, I would definitely use the rematch clause. Hundred percent. Because if you he has to, he's got if, no choice. You can't you can't lose your world title, your first defeat and not exercise the rematch clause straight away. For what we thought of Anthony Joshua and how badly he lost to Ruiz, and he did get absolutely battered in the first fight, you can change it around. And there'll be the argument that Wilder isn't skilled enough to beat Fury in the rematch. But you don't have to be with Deontay Wilder. People always um, try and you know, negate his one-punch power by saying, oh, he's, he's pretty shit as a boxer. He may be fundamentally flawed when it comes to the basics, but Wilder can stop anyone with the right time and the right punch. And to be fair, I think, I think he's got a good chin. I know, I know that um, obviously he got uh, TKO'd in his last fight, but for me, he, he's shown that he's got a good chin and he's got heart, he's got a champion heart. And, you know, um, the reason for me why he has to take that rematch is because he was there gunning down AJ saying you got beat by Ruiz and you got to take the rematch and so really you, you can't be <coughs> gunning people for, for things and don't do it yourself so but that reason alone really if, 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 if he had any sense he would probably fall back and probably build himself back up a bit but uh, yeah, at his age he ain't really got the time so <clears throat> yeah and there's no guarantee he's going to get the fight again like, if exactly he, tries, he fights a couple of other guys pulls up Joshua the, Tyson could fight and Fury's the type retire. Of, exactly. Fury's the type of guy who'll just say, yeah, I've done it now. See you okay, later. Yeah, exactly. I'll never get his chance. So it's a good payday. Just go for it. Yeah. Like, there's no point yeah. fighting. He's, he's, fought, he's fought enough of these small names anyway. Throughout <laughs> his career, while there too many of them. So take the rematch. I'd say strategy should be go in there, all guns blazing. Give it give it all. Try and land that punch and, be, and then and that's it. To be fair, I think with the COVID thing, 
I think with COVID, <laughs> it gives him more time to actually polish himself. It's true. He's got more time to polish himself. I, I agree. I'm just, just come back with I think, <laughs> I, I think I think if we didn't have um if we didn't have COVID nineteen, I think um it would have been the wrong decision to to go straight back in because I think. He, he, he shouldn't polish himself there. He shouldn't try and practice. He can't. He's, yeah, and, and he's too far gone to, to try new things. No, it's not. It's definitely not. Exactly. It's definitely not. He's got, he's got a lot of time to do it now. If, if, he's not, he's not going to turn around in one fight. Hmm? Sorry? He's not Go going on. to turn around these years of bad habits in, in, in one fight, in one camp, or whatever you say, like six months, eight months now window. He's not going to work on his footwork. He should just work. He's trying to perfect what he can do best. And then try and land that, land that what time that oh, one yeah, punch. Of course. Some, yeah, he's, he's got more time to do it now. I just thought maybe like, practice, he... maybe practice throwing a bit more on the back foot. Maybe mm-hmm. try and practice a little bit more. But, That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Like he has to, because if whatever whichever way he slices it, because Fury stepped to him in that first fight, so it's, it's all well and good saying you know step to Fury this and that, but Fury was you know roughing him up, making it uncomfortable for him. So he has to learn how to box well moving moving backwards and the thing is as well think... everyone's sorry but everyone's like you know saying that wilders isn't as good and his fundamentals are good. but to, to be truthful fury was just too good yeah yeah what's not to say what's not to say that that fury goes and beat every other fighter that he fights in that division then 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 does wilder look as bad no nah, he doesn't exactly so i think yeah, this is this is Wilder's Wilder's chance. There's not much he can he can um, do otherwise. And I think one thing he needs to get back to doing in that fight is if he can learn to box well off the back foot, then he can get back to doing what he's done to every other fighter, even including Fury in the first fight, which is you know lull them to sleep and catch them with that right hand because because that's whenever whenever Wilder has always loaded up on his shots, like he's not like he gets them out of there. It's when you know, he's lulling them to sleep. He's out there. He's getting out box. People think, oh, this guy's not good. And then bang, from nowhere, he, he catches them. So he's going to have to figure out a way to do that. Um, does, he lose to, does, he, does he lose to anyone apart from Joshua Wilder? I don't think he no. loses to Joshua. No. Yeah, Minus even, even Joshua, and Joshua is debatable. No. I think he puts AJ to sleep. To be honest, I think it depends on his mental state, though. Huh? It, mental, it depends on his mental state. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't know Wilder personally, but from from the things that I've seen of him, he seems kind of. I mean, I know he came out afterwards and started <laughs> a whole load of nonsense. But... King is he? <laughs> 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 like, like like he's T'Challa or something, but you know. <laughs> but if he but if he but if he truly believes that, it, it's going to work for him mentally. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I think, that, he, I think he has got confidence in himself. Oh, and I don't yeah. think even this defeat is gonna is gonna break him. But certain men are saying that Daniel DeBarb can test him. Yo, I'm excited about that kid, though, still. DeBarb himself. He said he's ready, isn't he? What's Wilder next? I like DeBarb. I like DeBarb. You shouldn't should make the same mistake Kyle your family. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't make that mistake. To be honest, it would be a worse mistake. At least Kyle your fire was already um, on the level. He was already it's similar level. to Anthony. It's similar to Anthony Yard, isn't it? Against Carl absolutely, hundred percent. It's a similar thing. That's a great. That's a great comparison, actually. It's but literally... was more past the hill than what I say Wilder is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a huge. It's a huge, huge gamble. I think. Yeah, De Boer needs think... to. I'm, I'm gutted we didn't get that Joyce fight. To be fair. Yeah, I think that would have definitely been a good marker to see where he's at. Hundred percent. Who, who, who did everyone have in that fight, Joyce and De Boer? Wow, <clears throat> man! I think I had to boil. Did anyone apart from Dan go for Joe Joyce? Joe Joyce is slow as shit. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, oh my god! Oh, fucking, <clears throat> I've never seen a fighter so slow. Simon had him in the uh, top fastest fighters from uh, <laughs> WBC. <laughs> yeah, he was just behind Lucas Brown in terms of speed. <laughs> oh man! You know, um. Joe Joyce as well. Is he not in any of your top tens, nah? <laughs> he's now? He's not even in my top 20. <laughs> uh, good stuff. All right, well, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up there. Um, thanks for listening. As always, it was fun, guys. Um, and we will catch you all next time. So, Hasib, Henry, Bex, David, Simon. 
Um, we'll catch you next week. Look out for us on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, and yeah, we're all ready for the smoke. So we're all going to post up our top tens and, and let us have it. Um, and we'll give it back as well. So we'll see you later. Peace. Peace. Yeah.